welcome to the Not So Traveling Introvert. Today, I want to talk about managing multiple projects or multiple clients、uh, because a lot of people are now working from home. And this is for you freelancers out there, your consultants out there. And to be honest, even if you are a career person working in a department, you might have more than one boss or even within that department working on more than one project. So I want to talk about a couple of things with、um, having a simple method for managing multiple projects to make sure you don't feel overwhelmed. One of the biggest causes of overwhelm is managing multiple projects at the same time and they might not have the same、um, timeline and that sort of a thing. And there's hardly a business owner or freelancer who doesn't have to work this way at least some of the time. So how do you go about managing multiple projects without feeling, you know, overwhelmed? Don't multitask. That's the first thing, as this contributes to more stress. Instead, give each project the time It needs every day in order to feel like you're making progress. So let's say you have three projects, A, B, and C. Ooh, imaginative. All right. So set a time limit such as an hour or 20 minutes <clears throat> for you, for each project. One hour for project A, one hour for project B, one hour for project C. Setting aside daily time for each project in a balanced way prevents one from taking over your whole day and preventing you from getting anything done on the others. Cause you know, once you start fires occur or you need to wait for emails and that sort of a thing. It also helps you maintain control over your daily schedule because there's other things that you will be doing. And this ensures that the other things that you must get done, you have time for as well. And you know, you need to consider does each project need an hour? Do certain projects need more? You can adjust these time boxes accordingly and you might set more time for a project that is bigger or has a closer deadline. That is for sure. But try and give roughly the same amount of time each day. And when you're approaching a deadline for the For A, for example, you'll have a sense of how far you've come and how far you need to go and if you need to make adjustments. Now, you also need to think about if you have more projects coming down the line, can you fix your schedule and plan ahead? For example, if you had a project slated to start Friday, can you block out time starting Friday to give that bit of daily time it already needs? And I talked about sort of blocks of time and that's the other part of、um, dealing with different projects and that sort of a thing. You, you know, it's a case of time blocking what you're doing. And I find this really important and I, I do it myself. And sometimes I forget and I have to go back.、Um, there's only so many hours in the day and so much needs to be done. And as I said before, you know, you might spend too much time on task A and then you get nothing done on task or project B and C. Never mind the routine daily stuff that you need to do. So. Time blocking involves taking each regular task and giving it its own time block in which to work on it. And this works great because it takes each task and treats them all equally. And so you get some work done on something. For example, say your daily to do list is something along these lines social media, work information on a product you're creating, work for a client project, think about marketing and conduct market research, right? That's each of these items are super important. However,、um, the client project and the information product are big tasks and you should work on those each day. You might want to put the client work first because it has a deadline and it means you get paid and there's consequences if you don't finish. But what if you get engrossed in it and realize it's much bigger than it expected and it eats up into your social media and planning time?、Ugh. So time, time chunking or time blocking helps you balance all your to do's by assigning each one a daily time frame. And it could look something like 30 minutes for social media, one hour for、uh, the information project,、uh, 90 minutes for client work, 30 minutes planning your business, and like an hour for research. With time blocking, you can make steady progress on each task and nothing that way can kind of slip through the cra- cracks. And the other huge benefit is you don't need to multitask because you know that you're going to spend, I don't know, from 9 a.m. to 9 30 on one thing and you will be focused on that designated activity. So these are a couple of ways that can help you focus and get more done. Try the, these、uh, time management strategies and see how it works for your to-do list. You know, give it a week or two and see what happens. All right. Thank you for listening. This is Janice from the Not So Traveling Introvert.、Um, and、uh, I am the founder of the Career Introvert, helping introverts build their brand and get hired.、Uh, if you have any questions, please email me at Janice at the Career Introvert.com. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to speaking to you next week. 